Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we can discuss about how to manage lunch module in Odoo 15. Lunch modules are introduced to manage and schedule the lunch timing of the employees. So managing and ordering different food items for different employees is always a tough and time consuming job. So the Odoo lunch module can be used for scheduling lunch time ordering meals. Now let's move on to the lunch module to know more about it. So after entering to the dashboard, here we can view the displayed lunch orders created by the employee. And here we can view the food orders of every day of the week using the filter option available here. And the orders can be grouped based on the vendors and category. It is also possible to categorize the food items by choosing the option available in the window. Likewise, we can also choose the vendors. So from here we can create an order, before that we can go to the configuration. Here we have settings, vendors, location, product, product categories and the alerts. So first we can go to the settings. Here we can see the lunch overdraft. So here we can set an overdraft to the employees for the lunch. Here we can set the maximum overdraft limit that the employees can reach. So when the employee's account balance is zero, you can take the loan from here. So we can save this. So now we can go to the vendors. So here the details of the vendors to whom the food orders are placed can be viewed here. So you can see the name of the vendor, their address and the email id. Now let's create a new vendor. Here you can choose the vendor. And here we can provide the address, email id and the phone number. Here we can choose the company. Here in under the availability select, uh, you can select the days when the vendors will be available for placing the orders. So here we can choose the availability days. Here you can enter the name of the three extras that will be provided by the vendor along with the quantity. And here in the order section, we can choose whether there is delivery or not. And here in the location section, we can choose the option from here. And here we can choose whether the order should be sent to the vendor through the phone or mail. If we choose the email, we can set the order time here. And here in the array line section, we can uh, add the name of the product that can be brought from the vendor along with their price. So now we can save this. Here we can see the newly created vendor. Now let's move to the location. Here we can enter the location where the food orders have to be delivered to the employees. So if you want to create a new lunch location, just click on the icon and here we can provide the location name. You can go to the product. Here we can view the product name, product category, vendor name, name of the company, description for the product and the price of the product. So the window can be viewed according to the list view and in the Kanban view. And here also we have the categorizing options. So now let's create a new product. So here we can enter the product name. We can choose the product category and the window. And here we can set the price for the product.
here in the new until section we can enter the validity of the period so it helps to find the expiry date of the product and to remove from the list and here we can choose the company name here in the description section we can add the description for the product so we can save this So here we can see the, see the newly created product. Now let's go to the product categories. So every product can be categorized into a different category for easier recognition while ordering. So here we can see the product category. So if you want to create new product category, just enter the name here and can choose the company name. Now let's go to the alert. So using the lunch module, you can also make the lunch alerts. So while which will remind the employees with the message provided. So here we can see the uh, already created uh, lunch alert. Likewise, we can create a new alert. Here we can choose the display type as alert in app or chat notification. So if we choose the chat notification, we can enter the recipient. So here we have options like everyone, employee who ordered last week, who ordered last month and who ordered last year. Here we can set the location. And here we can show the alert till a date. And here we have the options to active the lunch alert. Here we can select the days on which the alert must be followed. And here we can provide the message for the lunch alert. Now we can save this. So we have been discussing about the configuration aspect of lunch alerts. Now let's move on to my orders to create a new order. So from this window, we can select the food items uh, needed to the lunch. And if you want to make any changes in the provider information, you can choose the options available here. So now let's choose a food item. And here we can see the name of the food item, the price and the description. And here we have the options to add a new order. That means if you uh, if you have any allergies on particular food items, you can uh, remove this or you can avoid that. Now we can add this to the cart. So here we can see the food items is in the cart. And here if you want to increase the count of the item, you can just choose the plus icon. And if you want to decrease it you can choose the minus icon now we can order this so after ordering you can see the ordered label appearing here so this is how we order a food item now let's move on to my order history so here we can view the order history and from here we can cancel order or reorder the food items can comes to the my account and here we can view the description of the ordered lunch along with the account so you can see the date description and the amount now let's move to the managers tab and here we have today's order control vendors control accounts and cash moves so we can go to today's order so the orders made on the current day can be viewed here so here we can see the order date is today's and you can see the vendors name product extras note user name lunch location price of the food item status Com company name and here you can see the op options to confirm or cancel then comes to the control vendors 
So the details of the orders placed under different vendors can be viewed here. So the orders of each uh, vendors can be viewed separately here. When it comes to the control accounts, you can see the detailed description of the orders made from different employee accounts. So you can see the two employees different uh, accounts. Now we can comes to the cash moves. So by selecting this, you can track the cash moves of the employees. So if you want to create a new cash move, just enter the uh, amount and the description. So we have been discussing about how to manage the auto 15 lunch module. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching. Thank <music> you.